Hello everybody, Maggie here with Houston Area Parkinson Society coming to you from my corner office <laughs> here at HAPS. Um, today we're going to work on leg strength using the wall, a wall, as um, your guide, your tool. I know you've got a corner of your house somewhere that you can head on over to. So both toes are facing me. I want hips and feet in a line. Find your weight in the middle, holding on, lean onto the leg, and then take the one in the middle. And I want you to keep that foot off the ground now. All right, so we're gonna hold it off the ground. See how it's just an inch up or so? I want you to just practice holding this here. Okay, so pull it, feeling that pull up into your hip. Now, the outside of your foot, the outside of your shoe, I want you to make that part of your foot touch the wall. Then bring it back, keep it off the floor again. Outside of the foot, touch the wall. And do that again. So here's the deal. You cannot do that. What I need you to do is a straight leg against the wall. You should feel it immediately. So hip moving challenging some more of these pelvic stabilizers. So here's your feedback. Is your foot straight and is the outside of your leg, outside of your foot hitting that wall? So once you've done eight or 10 of those, it doesn't have to be too rotated in. I just don't want you to kick your toe in first. I want you to have that leg parallel with the wall. How do you know if you're doing it right? You feel it up here, you especially feel it in your standing leg, and you're keeping those feet in the line. Not forward, not back. Okay, got that one? All right, good. So that is hip abduction. And let's do it two or three more times just to get the feel of it, build the strength. I felt like I was too far away. You gotta find what works best for you. I'm gonna go a little bit closer this time and march my feet, march with me here, just to get the blood flowing again the other way. All right, same leg that we worked, holding on with piano fingers, light touch. If you're having to do this, not the time to stand on the wall, extra chair if you need. Lean over to the leg farther away from the wall. Now lift the other one up, hold it off the ground, while we're here building that strength in our core, <clears throat> let's take the leg out and in, okay? This one, taking it out parallel with the wall, back in, out and in. All right, you hear my thud? Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two you can do it one very good set that leg down excellent march it out i know that the standing leg should be really tired like you don't want to do a third set but we're going to do it anyways why we need to fatigue the muscles to build them up while we um, rest and recover so that's how we're actually going to gain strength so i know you can probably do couple more, you're gonna push yourself. You're not gonna push yourself to fatigue or to where you can't do the next exercise, but you're gonna push yourself a little bit more than you want to, okay? All right, standing on the outside leg, leg closer to the wall, lift it up, hold it there off the ground, okay? Not forward, not back, check it out, make sure toes are in line, and then move on an imaginary line out to the wall and back in. Okay, side of your foot hitting, 10 here. One, two, three, four, light touch, five, six, you can do it, seven, eight, nine, 10, very good, march it out. Good, good, good. All right, we need to do the other side. Either I would flip my whole camera set up, but I'm not gonna do that. So you can either turn around so you get that same feedback with the outside of your foot for the other leg. 
What I'm gonna do, maybe you'll do too, is join me in challenging your foot to go the other way. You've got the wall here to make sure you're standing straight, parallel. This leg, let's challenge it to move out in the open, but using kind of imaginary tactics, like there's a wall over there. All right, so practicing that lifting up. I'm not gonna hold on because I can do my elbow. It's okay if you're there, not here, but a little bit of touch is good. Leg is up off the ground. Standing legs already working hard. Great, now take this outside leg or the leg against the wall if you've turned around and let's keep it straight, toe facing me, out and in. It's not very big at all. See how up top, not moving. So make sure you're not wiggling up top. Take it out and in, out and in. Okay, check your toe and check your alignment. Can you imagine thud, that thud, the wall and the side of your foot, thud, not your toe, hit and hit. Let's do three more. Three, two, one. Good. Step it down. Find your center. March it out. No music today, so you can turn on your own tunes. Turn me up and then turn on your tunes behind. Because I know you're going to do this one again and again and again. Same thing. We're going to do three sets but you're gonna do enough number of repetitions to make that leg, both legs, really tired, not exhausted, but more than you want to, okay? So leaning over onto the standing leg, find your balance. The leg we're about to move, I want you to pick it up, like pull it up, it's on a string, you're pushing it into your hip socket. Good, this is crazy good balance workout already. Feeling hopefully your big toes pushing down all the weight on your standing leg. Now take that foot, not out. Keep it facing me, parallel to the wall. Here we go, out and in. Out and out. You do not have to go far to feel this good squeeze here. Glute medius. Okay, don't turn that toe out. Keep it faced in, parallel. Straight line, toes are in line, foot's in line. Out, and I know your standing leg's really tired right now. So do enough repetitions that you get tired, but you can still do the next third set. I'm gonna probably do four more. Four, three, my leg's tired here. Two, and one, good. Okay, so my body can tell we already worked the other leg. Okay, all right, last one. Or last one of this one, right? Whew. Find yourself centered, lean over onto your standing leg, imaginary wall or wall ready to go, okay? Take the leg you're gonna move, lift it up into your hip joint, hold it there. It's like you got core going, obliques going, um, leg lifting up and already standing leg is working too. Okay, keep the toe facing me. Out and in we go. Matt just going and hit against the wall. Hit and hit. Hit. All right. Eight for me. Seven. Six. Five. Check it out. Four. Toe to me. Two. Two. One. Good. All right. Good. March it out. Okay. Next exercise we're gonna do using the wall is to work on our hip extender. So chair in front of you. Whew. All right, what I'd like you to do, so get your feet on the wall here, take a step away. All right, so from here, we're gonna use both legs um, going back toward the wall. The wall is our target, so same idea, needing to lift the leg that's gonna move. So pick a leg, lift it up into your hip joint like you did. Okay, now flex your toes in your shoe and I want you to keep a straight leg, push the heel back, but toes are up the whole time. It's hard work. Heel back into the wall, you're still standing straight, you feel the glute pushing 
to do the work. Back home, keep the leg off the ground, do that again. Heel goes to the wall, and then heels come together to the wall and together. All right, it's hard work. Keep the legs straight, back and back. Back, toes have to really come up. It's not this. I want straight leg back, feeling the glutes, back and back. Eight here, eight, seven, six, five, four, hold the toe up, three, two, and one. Good, find the weight in the middle. That's a double. We get our anterior tibialis, which helps us keep our heels uh, walking well, toes up when we walk, and we also get our glutes, core, everything. It's a great workout. You know you're doing it right because you got the feedback of the wall. Okay, let's switch legs. We'll do left, right, left, right. All right, facing away from the wall. Take your step away. Chair is here to remind you of your balance. Opposite leg, lift it up, hold the foot off the ground. You see that difference there? Toes are on, heel comes back. Straight knees, strong core, and in. Think of the heel as being pulled back and forward. Back, forward. Eight, seven, six, light touch if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, hold it here, then set your leg down. Whew. All right, what I'd like us to do is a whole bunch of repetitions, a whole bunch of repetitions doing our hip extension rather than three sets, we'll do two sets. So here's our second set. Facing away from the wall, take a step away. Take your first leg that you moved, okay? All right, that one, you're gonna lift it up. So ready, peg leg, kind of lift it up, turn the toes on, hold the toes up, and then heel comes back to the wall and middle, back and middle, back, and middle, not forward, back and back, back and back. Let's do 15, 14, count with me, 13, 12, 11, 10, intentional push, pull, push, pull, let's say eight, seven, six, five, four, three, check your posture, two, and one. Excellent. We'll do the other leg. Weight shift, breathe, march, whatever you need to do to kind of get that opposite leg ready to go. All right, take a second to visualize what you're gonna do. Facing away from the wall. You're gonna lift that leg up into the hip socket. Then you're gonna tighten your glute, straight leg. You're gonna move the heel back. Picture yourself doing that for me. And now let's do it. Okay, opposite leg. Lean over, find your balance. Lift the leg up, toes are on. All right, posture up top. Whew. Let's go for 18 here. Here's one, two, three, count with me, four, straight leg, five, whoop, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Super. Okay, we're gonna use our wall to do some squats. Push the chair away a little bit. These are all the Harris counties. I should have taken it down, but I didn't. All counties we serve here with HAPS. I'd like you to take a step away from the wall and then you're going to lift your tail up, okay? Heels come back, tailbone and hips lift up. Weights on your heels. All right, from here, 
What I'd like you to do is do a lower squat, see if you can get closer to the wall, and then standing up. I need to move back a little bit. Lower squat, finding the wall with your tailbone, standing up, not all the way. Lower squat, wall finds the tailbone, tailbone's there, standing up. Again, pulling, and then squat back, and up. Squat back, tailbone finds the wall, and up, not all the way. Back, and up. Okay, knees are working most of the movements, coming at the hip. Hinging back. And up, finding the wall, holding there, then up, back, and up, back, up, back, three more, two more, one more for good measure, good, come all the way up, all the way down and back, all the way up all the way down and back. Tailbone finds the wall. Coming up, hinging back. Up, hinging back. My eyes looking straight over my chair, so I'm not forward. I am hinging, come back. All the way up this time. Hinge down, come back up. 10 here. Here's 10. Nine, not falling into the wall. Eight. Seven. Good slow pace here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, great. All right. So hip abduction, leg lifts to the side using the wall. Glute work, hip extension, leg hitting the wall. Well, hitting, touching the wall for your feedback. All right. Squatting down, turning that tailbone up, finding where you can sit your hip bones, your sit bones on the wall. Okay. Last thing we'll do is work on staying on the wall. We've done this one before. If you've been faithful to all these videos, maybe a month ago, maybe two, I'd like you to kind of sit down on the wall here, find where you can flatten your low back against the wall. Okay, kind of a wall squat, kind of not. All right, so shoulders back, chin tucked in. Hold this here for a count of 10. Then we're gonna push up into standing. So the pushing up part looks like this. You're gonna use your momentum to stand up, use your hip strength, stand up all the way. Okay, first though, we start by shoulders go, move the hips, you've got flat back against the wall. Hold it here, quads are on and working, you're working so hard. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, tuck the chin, four, Three, two, one, strong butt, push it up and extend. There you go. Two, three, four, and five. Back down again. Hips hit the wall, shoulders. Now tuck that tailbone under. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, lean, push those hips under. One, two, three, four, and five. That's your rest. Do that again. Tailbone, shoulders. Now flatten the low back. Hold it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, push. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, one more of those. Whew. Tailbone goes back, squat down, shoulders up, tuck the hips under, flat back against the wall, shoulders down and in, 
Shin tucks back. Not here, here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. This time, stand up. Everything you got. You did it.